Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunity Sports YouTube channel and the Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel. This is the Raw edition review for the um, 21st of 21st of uh, March 19 and uh, 19, no, 2022. I wish it was 1992. Wrestling would be so much better. Anyway, um, anyway, we move to, again, as mentioned, the Raw run here. Um, one of the last Raws before WrestleMania. And it's fine, I guess guess um certainly not my cup of tea certainly not something that i think should be right where things are right before wrestlemania march 21st uh anyway uh seth rollins attempts to get attention here stone cold steve austin music hits and everyone in the crowd is fooled kevin owens comes out in an austin shirt owens act as though austin's Mimicking his catchphrases, ca uh, the, cl the crowd is not happy with this. They chant, you suck at him. Uh, Austin didn't do much thinking these days. He says, lights goes on, but nobody's ho lights go out, but nobody's home. Crowd chant, we want Austin. Uh, and Owens acts all shocked at this. Owens calls uh, for beers, but missed each one. They threw at him. And blames the stagehand for throwing them poorly. Gives him a stunner. Owens tracks the beers and dumps them on the guy. Owens gives the Austin pose. The segment ends. Good heat, and this will be actually a little bit of fun. In the back, Kevin Patrick asks Seth Rollins about not going to WrestleMania this year. Crowd loudly chants Cody. Uh, louder than last week, Rollins laughs and grabs the mic and leaves. Rey Mysterio is shown in the IndyCar event uh, with Mario Andretti. Miz enters with Ziggler and Rude and joins on commentary. Raw and Dominic Mysterio, uh, Ray and Dominic Mysterio defeat uh, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Rude. Nine twenty nine. Mid in the match, uh, they both baby faces hit dive. Seth Rollins music hits and he comes into the stage. Rollins then warns that he won a spot at WrestleMania and said he wanted something even bigger than Austin. Microphone keeps cutting out like they're trying to shut him up. Ray then makes a comeback on Rude before making the tag to Dominic. Dominic hits Rude, pinning. He has Rude pinned, but Ziggler breaks up the cover. Dominic uh, gives Ziggler a cutter. Rude responds with a spine buster. Dominic comes up with a 619 frog splash for the pitfall win. After the match, Ziggler super kicks Dominic uh, while Miz gives Ray a skull crusher in finale. Miz. Riffs off Ray's mask, crowd boos. Ray covers his face until Dominic gets the towel to cover up. Rollins then speaks to Adam Pierce and, so and Sonya Deville in the back. He knew they cut his mic. Pierce said, interrupting a match and acting nuts and wasn't going to get him what he wanted. Deville tells Rollins that he's one who failed last week. Pierce tells Rollins that he would see what he can do, and Rollins laughs like an idiot. Uh, Miz is on the phone with Maurice bragging about taking Ray's mask. Patrick interrupts him and then asks why he took Ray's mask. Miz says Logan Paul grew up a huge fan of Ray Mysterio, but should never meet your heroes. Paul learned that Ray and Dominic were jerks, and Miz is happy to humiliate them. Miz dared Paul to wear a mask on Raw next week. Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar both will be in Pittsburgh next week. One on two handicap match almost defeats Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz, 149. I guess they've soured on Aziz. Crews and Aziz attacked almost before the match officially starts, fights them off, bell rings, and almost gives Aziz a scoop slam before dropping Crews with a press slam. Almost gives Crews tree slam, stacks him on top of Aziz, and pins him for the win. Uh, crowd doesn't seem to care about this. Almost says after the match, he dared someone to step to Raw at WrestleMania, no matter where. They don't get dominated. AJ Styles uh, is returning. Crowd at chance for Styles. He said he's been missing out on this stuff, being out the past few weeks. He says while he's sitting at home, he watched a replay of what Edge did to him over and over. He wanted 
to be alone. He didn't even want to be around his wife and kids. Styles watched Edge's promos with the mood lighting over the past two weeks, but he said he didn't care about that. He said that he wasn't here for answers. He was here to kick Edge's teeth down his throat. Styles then said Edge would get a bulldog at WrestleMania, but called him out to fight right now. Edge didn't enter, so Styles called him a coward. Rollins music hit and he enters again. The crowd chant for Cody Rhodes tells him not to, tells him to settle down. He said rumors don't make moments and he's living for his WrestleMania moment. And Styles tells him to cut the crap and he wants to know why he's out there. Rollins is concerned for Styles' health and safety. He wondered if Styles even is capable of facing Edge at uh, WrestleMania. Rollins suggested Styles go home, hug his wife and kids, fully recover. Come back for Mania. Styles then said Rollins wasn't taking his spot. If he could walk, he'd face Edge at WrestleMania. It gives Rollins an idea, but Styles knows what he's trying to do. Rollins asked the crowd if they would like to see him against Styles tonight. Styles said that he would give Rollins a good do uh, to destroy Edge. Pierce and Deville enter. Like last week, Pierce went ahead and made the match. If Rollins can beat Styles tonight, Rollins will get a championship or get a spot at Mania. Uh, and then Queen Zelina confronts Carmella in the back. Carmella blows off Zelina, smashes her phone. Zelina called Carmella ugly. Carmella calls Zelina a hobbit. Carmella then slaps her, so they brawled. Officials break it up. Styles brags, barged into the office of Pierce and DeVille. Styles tells Pierce that he sucks at, at management. He says he's had no good, he hasn't heard good things about DeVille either. Styles said he'd go ahead and beat Rollins and secure his WrestleMania spot. Natalia and Shayna Baszler defeat Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan 354. What a waste of time this was. Carmella March out to the match and complains to Corey Graves. Graves turns out to attack. And um, Natalia and Baszler pick up the win after giving Morgan a heart attack maneuver. After the match, Zelina then attacks Ripley for, from beating from behind with a kendo stick. Carmella then shoves Natalia into the steel steps before taking out Baszler with a super kick. Carmella and Zelina teased another confrontation. They hug, they smile, and they're on the same page after all. Becky Lynch cuts a promo. Uh, ponders a question, what does it profit a man to gain the world to lose their soul? Lynch recalled many months ago she's holding the championship belt, not because she lost it, but because she was forced to surrender it. Lynch knew that she would do whatever it took to gain the championship, and uh, holding it meant everything to her. Belair doesn't have what it took to beat her. Belair couldn't damage her throat, but uh, Lynch damaged her worse. Belair hurt her by accident. Lynch hurt her deliberately. Lynch comes out here to take Belair's hair, but Belair wasn't here tonight. Belair couldn't risk losing her soul, but Lynch already sold hers. Lynch would show Belair what she stood for, Prophet WrestleMania, if Belair can make it. Uh, Sarah then asked Austin Theory about my, Pat McCaffrey's apology on SmackDown. Theory called McCaffrey a dumb jock who has no business stepping in the ring with him. Theory said he could talk to Mr. McMahon and McCaffrey wouldn't even have a commentary job anymore. Uh, Sarah also asked about the match tonight. Theory said that he's running out of uh, storage on his phone because of the, the post beatdown selfies he has had with, with Finn Balor. He planned on taking one more tonight. Beer is coming to Raw on April 4th. He actually has a date now. Anyway, Pat McCaffrey answers, joining on commentary. U.S. champ Finn Balor defeats Austin Theory non-title match. McCaffrey repeatedly distracts Theory till Balor pins him with a small package. After Theory falls out of the ring, McCaffrey mocks him, makes his own weird version of a crotch chop. Balor drops Theory into the barricade, which leads to uh, Theory's in control after the break. McCaffrey then rallies the crowd behind Balor. Balor comes back with a running forearm and a double foot stomp. Theory then rams Balor into the announce table and issues a warning to McCaffrey. Balor responds by smashing Theory's head repeatedly into the announce table. Balor then goes to the Coupe de Grasse, but Theory dodges it. McCaffrey distracts Theory and the crowd chants for 
McCaffrey. McCaffrey distracts Theory and Balor rolls him up to get the win. Uh, they then go to the third hour. This show feels really wrong. Long, they they show Von Gronkowski attacking Jr. in the Hall at WrestleMania 2017. Um, then they go to Chad Gable doing a pre-match promo, doing his usual stuff. Raw Tag Champs Randy Orton and Riddle defeat Alpha Academy. Nine title match, 7 minutes, 38 seconds. Otis runs over Riddle on the outside, leading to the break. Two minutes into the match, why even do matches if you're not going to care about them? Riddle makes the hot tag. And they return from break. Orton gives Gable a power slam. Otis then got in the way. Orton decks him before giving Gable a draping DDT. Gable counters and RKO hits a German suplex. Riddle then go, has the blind tag managed. Uh, Gable then tries giving Riddle German suplex. Riddle flips over and hits the throw. Derek for pinfall win. Post-match, Otis knocks Orton over the barricade and gives Riddle a Vader bomb. And the Street Profits, wearing Bulls-themed merchandise, comes out. And then the Street Profits clear things, including Montez Ford hitting a uh, frog splash. They congratulate Gable Stevenson on winning the NCAA championship. Mixed tag, tornado match, 24-7 champion Dana Brooke and Reggie defeats Tamina and Akira Tozawa. One minute, eight seconds. Reggie pins Tozawa in uh, the uh, showing a replay of the Tamina's headhunting of Tozawa there. Next week's go home on Pittsburgh Street Profits, Alpha Academy, Sasha Banks, Naomi, Ripley and Morgan versus Felina, Carmella, Mar Natalia, and Baszler. Mysterio versus The Miz and uh, Lesnar and Reigns appear. AJ Styles defeats Seth Rollins in 22 minutes, 52 seconds. In the main event, this is a very good match. AJ hits a, a springboard form the outside before the break opening. Rollins takes control during the break, hitting a neckbreaker over the middle rope. Styles then fights back and sprints towards Rollins in the corner. Rollins moves and Styles goes face first into the buckle. Uh... Like it's supposed to the same time and makes a crashing sound. Youch. Anyway, Rollins gains control and hits a bunch of dives going into another break. Rollins then taunts Styles and smacks him, but then uh, Styles comes back with a strike combo. Fireman's carry neckbreaker for near fall. Rollins then hits jackknife cover for near fall. Rollins then blocks a Styles clash, following up with a roaring elbow falcon arrow. For a near fall, they exchange a bunch of counters. Styles gets suplexed. Rollins in the turnbuckle. Styles then follows up with the rack bomb for near fall. Uh, Styles goes for the phenomenal forearm, but gets caught with a super kick in midair. Follows up with a buckle bomb. Does Rollins. Rollins then goes for frog splash, but Styles gets the knees up. Styles hits a forearm edge, attacks him from behind. With a steel chair for the DQ, Rollins pleads with the referee that Styles is announced as the winner by DQ, meaning Styles will face Edge at WrestleMania. Rollins grabs the mic and says this is, well, uh, less than friendly language. Uh, Rollins then says Raw won't happen next week unless he gets a WrestleMania match, and then he throws a tantrum around ringside. Good show closing segment, but I'm not sure why Seth Rollins is where you're closing it. They don't really care about him that much, do they? Anyway, we'll be back with more right after this. <laughs> 